Hi everyone, it's Agnes. I've got a viewer's question today and it's from Bex. Okay, now Bex has said, just wondering if you could provide a bit more clarity on Neville's ladder technique, perhaps a quick YouTube video if you have time. So you're saying, Bex, I understand the gist of it in relation to the ladder. I managed to climb a ladder within 48 hours of starting the visualization. A new bulb blew in my house and I had to get a ladder to change it. But I'm a little stuck on how to apply the same technique to other things like money or a relationship. Do we do the exact same thing of visualizing it as we go to sleep? And then throughout the day have it written everywhere that I don't want it? Or will not have it or will not do it? Or I do not get it? So... The thing with the ladder technique is that it was, Bex, I'm not going to climb a ladder, I'm not going to climb a ladder, I'm not going to cl climb a ladder. The universe is a focus-based universe. So whether you're saying I'm not doing something or I am doing something, it's the focus on the thing. So in the case of the ladder, it was I'm not going to climb a ladder, but you had it all over the house on post-it notes and you were constantly before going to sleep saying that you weren't going to climb it so the focus was ladder during the day on the post-it notes and also at night doing the visualization so just remember that it the focus on something is what includes it what brings it to you so if you have you're saying here I'm a little confused over how this would interact with changing assumptions. For example, if I don't have a lot of money and ongoing belief, how would I change it to a woman of independent means? I mean, you could try saying, I don't have a lot of money, 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 and put that all over in post-it notes and then keep thinking about in the way that Neville talked about it in the ladder technique, I'm not going to climb the ladder. You could try. I don't have a lot of money. 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 I probably wouldn't go about it that way, fit it with the ladder technique. I would just put the focus on it. I have a lot of money. Money comes in easily and effortlessly. Uh, this is the best financial day of my life. I work half the hours for twice the pay. I have more money than I can spend or money comes in faster than I can spend it. It's again the focus on it. So I, for those bigger things, for the latter it doesn't matter so much because whether you climb one or not, it doesn't really affect you that much. But if you start to do something around money and relationships, you're going to not want to waste your time by focusing on the negative of it. I would just hop straight to the focus point, which is the most important thing in this whole example, the focus on the post-it notes, the focus on the imagining that, you know, or the self-talk as Neville did in that case, that you weren't going to climb the ladder, you weren't going to climb the ladder, I would use that same amount of time and say, I am uh, wealthy, I am rich, or whatever words you want to use to imply that you're a woman of independent means. So, and in the example of the relationship, you're saying, if I was to think from having in having a relationship and therefore hopefully changing my beliefs from being single, how does this marry up with the ladder technique? Well, again, it's a base universe, so focusing on, you know, you could focus on I'm not single, I'm not single, I'm not single. That's going to give you more single, okay? So it needs to be flipped into... I'm not in a relationship, I'm not in a relationship, I'm not in a relationship if you want to apply it like the ladder technique. But why would you spend that time doing it in the negative? Why not bump it up and do it in the positive? I love my relationship. I love this relationship. It's the best relationship I've ever had. I love this relationship. I love this relationship. I love this relationship. Like I'm not going to climb the ladder. I'm not going to climb the ladder, okay? So you probably understand now. And you're saying another example would be if I had a, a specific person who I wanted to message me more, would I follow the fun by why does he message me so much? Yes, exactly. I don't have all the time to answer all these messages because that would be someone that has an overabundance of messages. Those are the thoughts they would have. Exactly right. If you were applying the latter technique, yes, you would probably say, I don't want messages from him or I do not get messages from him. But again, why would you waste your time doing something in the negative? Neville did that to illustrate a point. 
that if you don't want something, it's the fact that you're focusing on it that's going to bring it rushing towards you, you see. So it really is remembering the nugget and the, the nut of this whole thing is it's a focus-based universe. What you give your thought, your feeling, and your belief to is what comes. Whether you say not or you don't say not is kind of irrelevant. It's one of those little words that the universe doesn't stick anything to, really. It's the bulk of the message, the ladder, the relationship, the money, the job. That's the key words, okay? It's like the words that get heard by the universe are the main words, the, the verbs, the nouns. It's like the adjectives don't really rate that much, the description words. I mean, yes, you might get a red car, but it's the fact that you get the car. Red might be the bonus, okay? So it's the main, uh, you know, it's like a meal. It's the meat that gets brought forward not so much the veggies okay so no it's not confusing yes you've made it clear enough I uh, understand you want to get the mechanics right I hope that's explained it to you a little bit better and you've said I've recently increased my finances and a little more contact from my SP however it is stop start stop start and I think I'm missing something well Again, whether it's money or contact, stop trying to get. Okay, I'm going to say it again and again. Learn to give, learn to give, radiate love out, radiate love out. Doesn't matter if it's money or love. Stop trying to get more of anything. Stop trying to get more of anything. The getting is never going to get. Okay, the get gives you the absence of. Okay, so hope that helps you, Bex. Lots of love. And I will see you in the next one. <laughs>